All new at 11, a crook rips off a Marine on Veterans Day. Get this. The thief stole from the Marine vet while he was at a Veterans Day barbecue with other vets. Now police are trying to find the crook after the veteran's mangled truck was recovered, but not other items, including an irreplaceable one. Fox House George Franco joins us now from the Newton County Sheriff's Office with the story. George, what irreplaceable item are we talking about here? Well, Tom Marine veteran Drew Chandler told me that that irreplaceable item are known as camis, his camouflage marine uniform issued to him when he was in Iraq. Now that is missing, but it is also a very tough lesson for this family. That's the um, remnants of what the wheel spokes were. It's the pickup truck Marine veteran Drew Chandler worked hard to buy, but it's now mangled with a bent, damaged rim, a banged up side, and more. The truck was stolen from outside his cousin's Covington home nearby in the early morning hours after a Veterans Day barbecue with family and other Marine vets present. We all go, you know, to bed that evening and uh, wake up the next morning and figure out that my truck's missing. Police say the truck was found abandoned in northwest Atlanta, damaged from the thief riding on the rim. Chandler says his 45 caliber handgun, his cell phone, wife's purse, and other items were stolen, along with a backpack with something very special inside. You see our name and U.S. Marine, and like he said, you know, this is something that you, you, you can't replace. That something is camis, the marine camo uniform, which seem more like jammies with the Chandler's youngest son swaddled in them. The camis were part of Drew Chandler's marine gear for war when he was defending our country in Iraq in 2006. Some of those things you can't replace, you know, and it definitely is probably real personal for me. The police report says eyewitnesses saw a young black man between 16 to 20 years old flee after abandoning the truck. From what we know so far, he pulled in a neighborhood at the end of the cul-de-sac, uh, turned the hazards on, and bailed. The Chandler sweethearts from Loganville High School, proud parents of three boys, tell me the theft of the truck, camis, and everything else is a teachable moment for their family. There are bad things that happen in this world, but you, you still have to respect those around you. And that's a lesson veteran Drew Chandler hopes the thief will learn before he's confronted by someone with a gun. Anyone with any information on this case is asked to contact the Newton County Sheriff's Office or the Atlanta Police Department, which are both working on this case. Reporting live tonight in Newton County, I'm George Franco, Fox 5 News. We hope they recover those items, George. Thanks. Long